Hello, all my beautiful uh, people. This is Val with This Is How You Do It. Now, I'm going to do some. It's not macaroni. This is uh, egg noodles. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, this is what this is. Well, it is, it is macaroni, but it's not elbow macaroni. So, um, and I, I'm not, I don't have elbow macaroni. So, and this is what I have in the cabinet. And most great recipes are made out of necessity. There is still water in here. And I'm going to do macaroni and cheese easy. So, season your, your deal. Black pepper, whatever seasoning you think is appropriate for your meal. Don't want it too hot. There's no salt in it yet. There's all these are powders that I'm putting in here. And for salt, I guess I use a little lollering. Well, the salt, the noodles were salted when I boiled them, so. But then this is just salty flavor. And the garlic salt. So you say, Val, well, that's quite a bit of seasoning. Yep. We want this to be flavorful. Stirring the seasoning up in there. Now I'm going to put some cheese in it. It's going to be American cheese. That water is helping my cheese melt because I'm not uh, making a cheese sauce. Oh, goodness. Let me stop this. Let me uh, get this cheese in here. Now, uh, some cheese is in there. I got this little leftover sour cream in there. I don't normally put this in there, but then it's a little watery and... And go, you know, been in there, and I only got a little bit left in the pan, so I'm gonna throw that in them. Like I said, great meals are made out of necessity, and what you have in the kitchen. Now, now you put you put the milk in in macaroni and cheese. Let's go and throw some in there before somebody on here have a stroke. So we are gonna mix that in there. The cheese is melting as it, it goes in there. I am gonna put some eggs in it. Well, you say, well, Val, you're going to cook the eggs. No, because it's going to be baked. The eggs going to get hot anyway, so we ain't going to even worry about that. You see how it's making its own cheese sauce? And the fire's still on while I'm doing this, by the way. So it's, getting, it's sucking up some of that water that was in there. And then I'm going to put some cheese on top of it. And then pop it into the oven. Now that's a beautiful cheese sauce. Let me taste it. Needs more seasoning. Garlic powder. And all the seasoning on my shelf. Just gonna season it up. Let's just just throw some in there, y'all. Just put some goodness in there. Some goodness in there. To me, I need a little bit more uh, flavor. I'm going to use that one. Let's see what this is. Another powder. Some paprika. Some black pepper. Every time you add something to a meal, you have to season it between each stage. Now let's see what this is going to taste like once all this is mixed up in there. Because remember, you're going to have the cheese on top of that. You're not going to be able to see all that seasoning unless you put some of that paprika on top of the cheese. 
Actually, this is good just like it is. If you let it sit, it'll start to get solid. The only purpose of putting the cheese on top is to have that cheesy crust. Mmm. That tastes good right there. That tastes wonderful. Yeah, it's tasting like it's supposed to taste. Now, I'm going to throw a couple of eggs in there. Yep, right on in there, just like that. That's going to help make it stick together. All that liquid that you're looking at, that's going to help that. It's going to get stiff now. The cheese is going to make it stiff anyway, but then the eggs helps out with it. Now I'm going to put some cheese on top of it and slide this bad boy into the oven, probably around about 350, 375, whatever, just let it cook a little bit, melt the cheese, see all that, that's cheesy right there, I'm going to cover this with cheese, and all I'm doing with, when I say by cover it with cheese, for some of you people that don't know, is just lay it on there like that, right on top, that's it, all the way around the pan, just lay it on there like that. Okay, cover it with cheese if you can see it. Cover it with cheese. And now I'm going to pop it into the oven. Okay, uh, my beautiful people. This is my macaroni and cheese made easy. When it comes to macaroni and cheese, you don't necessarily always have to use elbow macaroni. You can use spaghetti. You can use any kind of macaroni you would, you would like. This is not ready to cut, but I just want to show you. Put it under, under the griller for a little while, and this is the results. And that is not mushy. That's not any water seeping out. This is really, really good mac and cheese. And I talk to all you beautiful people on the next video. When you don't have everything you need or you have something a little different, go for it. Best recipes are discovered this that way. See all you beautiful people on the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I do have two other channels. Uh, one is a mukbang channel and another one is uh, an ASMR channel. So look down in there and go over and subscribe to those channels for me if you don't mind. And I do appreciate it. This is Val with This Is How You Do It. And I see all you beautiful people in the next video. Bye-bye now.